Hey guys, update for you. So I did in fact get the majority of the kennel finished off. As you can see, I got the houses and everything else set up. But the reason why I haven't posted a video on it just yet is because the menace has had a major habit on breaking free. So you can see and there's now a board in the front. Uh, that's because she decided to yank on the chain on the bottom to pull the gate open. Then she started digging holes at the bottom. Good thing the ground is actually pretty darn hard. So that hole over there has taken her like two, three weeks to do. So more of those blocks, you're gonna have to go around the perimeter and finish that off. But just trying to give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, the majority of the time I've been spending is just in uh, tree uh, cleanup. There's a lot of brush, a lot of overgrowth and everything that I've just been cleaning out on the property. And it's not that interesting. It's just a lot of hard labor. One thing that's pretty cool is I did do a major upgrade to the chicken coop today. I just finished off putting the uh, roof base on it. So if you think back to when I first built it, the run on it was about three feet wide by six feet long. Well, now it's 10 by 20, okay? Uh, there's a few more things I need to do to it for reinforcement. Um, I'm gonna line the entire base of it with the remainder of the chicken wire disregard this because this is going to get replaced this is just how the freaking chicken wire came out of the package and i absolutely hate it but i'm going to take the uh, chicken wire and run it out about a foot from the ground bolt it on to the entire run all the way down and then cover the rest of it with some dirt and rock this way i can try and prevent any critters from getting in but it's actually doing pretty good um it definitely is providing them a adequate amount of shade during the day and a wee bit of rain protection. And let's see, as you can see, our birdos have gotten huge. Now, the last time you guys saw um, Blue here, you know, he was about the size of my palm. He was not that big. Well, now he's an absolute behemoth with like a, I would say about the size of a, of a uh, basketball body. And then of course the chicks getting quite big and so at the moment we are sitting at one turkey and eight chickens well if you recall we had two turkeys and ten chickens well one of the chicks when we first got him he passed on not too long after that and then the second chicken that passed unfortunately my daughter was playing with him and she didn't realize that the dog got a hold of her um and then one of the turkeys, the one that had the genetic problem, didn't make it. We had to uh, take care of her because she was in a very, very bad state. And it was not anything she was going to be able to recover from. So at the moment, this is what we're working with at the moment. And these, these guys are roughly about, what is it, three, three to four months old. So they're growing. And then... The next upgrade I want to do to the chicken coop is I like the design of the of the house itself that I built. So I think I'm going to keep it, but what I want to do is expand on it. I think what I'm going to do is now that the run is 10 feet wide, I'm going to create a new base for it that's going to add another side layer of more boxes and fully encaged on the bottom. So that way it's going to be more housing space, especially for Blue. He's gotten way too big and he can't even get inside of this house anymore. So we need to make him a proper house. <laughs> Other than that, what you guys see is what you get. You know, right now I'm just clearing out all of the trees. There was a lot of trees in this area here from off of this dead stump. Um, as you can see, there's a lot right back over here where I'm hauling off to the side. But uh, last night, my neighbor, Buck, he was telling me that the night before last night, his nephew saw a five to 600 pound black bear at the base of my property. Uh, and that's actually where we're heading right now. Um, so I've been kind of keeping an eye out right now for that bear, just in case, you know, he's trying to come over towards the animals or just coming up to the property and causing damage or anything like that. So I have not yet seen him, nor have I actually seen full sights on him yet. No tracks, no nothing like that. Um, I do run into a lot of deer. We had six deer 
come through the back porch uh, like three or four days ago. And then yesterday when I came out here, just scouting around looking for sights or trails of that of that bear, um, I had another nice sized deer just sitting off to the side watching me. He wasn't skittish on me until I really started moving around. Um, another thing, oh, stab right over here. So, odd thing, uh, this property that I'm actually walking on right now does not belong to me. Um, my property line, been kind of a butt, but here we go. So, I've been doing a lot of uh, lining, just getting the property completely lined out so that way I can start building the fences and everything. Um, that's been kind of a pain. It's uh, middle, or actually now it's the beginning of August. So the high heat and everything definitely limits what you're able to do. But a lot of you guys who know me personally know that I'm not one to sit back when, when they tell me not to do things. So quite literally, I've been coming out here with a pole saw and just sawing down some of these excess growths and just trimming off all these things just to be able to get the property line dialed out. And this way, I can actually get some progress done. Um, I'm going to be piling up everything into the back side of the lot so that way I can either mulch it later on after I finally get a wood chipper or just burn it in the winter time uh, and just get rid of it from there. Uh, I would prefer to start mulching. That's a long-term goal of this project. Uh, being able to utilize all the resources here on the land and doing your own mulch is a good idea. But yeah, um, been, been fairly busy. Uh, just kind of keeping my head down and grunting and grinding on things. Um, I've definitely noticed there's just something about being able to focus your attention in on a project or a property or anything like that um, and just get yourself away from the problems of the world because right now, dude, guys, we, we got problems, you know. Obviously, a lot of y'all know about the recent developments in the political scapes and it's just, if you can get your hold of something that you can start building, I would definitely suggest getting it done now. Uh, don't wait for it because, well... Things are getting crazy, and I just hope everybody takes every opportunity they can get to be able to maximize what they can do because by this time next year, everything could be completely different, you know? And if you don't take the time now, when you have the capability and you have the time to do it, you're really going to regret this. Start off with something small, get some pots and plants in your window seals and everything or get a small chicken coop and a run in your front yard a buddy of mine just recently did that and I thought that was absolutely amazing because even though he lives in the middle of the city you know in suburban hell he's still able to do things that are going to uh, effectively help you know having chickens on hand is a everyday protein source so I mean that's a really big benefit start looking into some of the things that you can do that you can actually grow on or build your foundation on. Well, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update, let you know I haven't forgotten about y'all, but the vast majority of things I've been doing are far more uninteresting than just listening to me talking about some weird project I'm doing. I hope you guys are doing good, and I hope you guys are keeping your faith up. I love you. God bless you. You have a good day.